Here we go. I was reading about the importance of tsniut, which means modesty. Do women have to wear stockings to cover their legs or skirt covering her... Did you ask this question last week? Covering her, their knees? Uh, how about open... You, you asked this question last week. Okay, so we're going to go over it again. In Judaism, modesty is an obligation, not a suggestion. And a woman is obligated to cover herself where the clothes that she wears have to be, uh, you know, a uh, cover her whole, her whole body, uh, but also be loose-fitting, not tight. You know, so the skinny skirts, even if they reach the bottom of the floor, uh, you know, it's, it's not modest. Why? Because it gives too much of a definition of the woman's uh, uh, shape. So it needs to be loose-fitting clothes. It can be pretty clothes. It can be uh, attractive clothes. It shouldn't be. Uh, it could be attractive clothes, but not attracting. Uh, but uh, you know, it can be colorful. There's no problem. You don't have to wear black all the time or anything like some people think. You're allowed to wear nice colors and so on. Just not things that are attracting too much attention. Don't wear all red and become like a traffic light. That's a problem. Uh, you know, it's a. In fact, it's even other colors. If you wear some bright yellow color and your whole, you know, everything from top to bottom is bright yellow, like neon yellow, it's also a problem. Even if it is loose fitting. So again, you're allowed to be attractive, just not attracting. But as far as the covering part is concerned, a woman has to cover ourselves, and again, loose fitting, where she has to cover our arms and up to also cover our elbows. So up to the wrist at least, if not up to the top. Okay, right where I broke my hand, over there is ideal. If not, you still have to cover your elbow up to where, let's say, the forearm is. That's the minimum requirement. Ideal is to cover the whole arm. Always we would try to, with modesty especially, is to be ideal rather than minimum requirement. So minimum requirement is over here. Ideal is the, uh, which is passing my elbow. My elbow is over here. So the forearm is over here. That's, that is minimum. Ideal is get to your hand. When it comes to uh, your uh, uh, neckline, everything here has to be covered, even if you don't have a beard. Hopefully you don't have a beard, but everything, the neckline, all those bones have to be covered. No less than what I have, okay? Just like it's women that wear V-necks, you have a very serious problem. Women that have V-necks and they leave them open, you're not modest at all. Even if the rest of your body is, is, is covered, this is not modest thing at all. I know that this is some type of French style or something that people do. They open these uh, uh, shirts. Also, the same thing with guys. Guys walk around with like half their shirt open. That's not modest. It's not allowed. Not according to the Torah. So men and women have to be modest. You have to wear something that covers these, uh, these bones, specifically for men, for, for women. You have to cover these bones up to your neckline. You don't have to wear a turtleneck, but you have to cover these bones. That's the, uh, the part on top. Now, when it comes to the, uh, 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 the legs, you have to wear, you cannot wear pants because pants are part of men's clothing and there's a specific mitzvah in the Torah for women not to wear the clothing of men. It's prohibition of women wearing clothing of men and prohibition of men wearing the clothing of women, not even as a costume. Uh, women are, are uh, you know, are forbidden from dressing up like men and men are forbidden from dressing up like women uh, even as a costume. Like some people do for Purim or other types of parties, this is forbidden, 100% forbidden. So, but needless to say, on a regular day, so pants for women, not allowed. Not allowed. Uh, also, because pants show the definition of the body. This is also a problem. It's also a problem for women to wear high heels. Why? Because when a woman wears high heels, her body moves differently. She's walking on our tiptoes. Because she's walking on our tiptoes, which aside from being uncomfortable, that's not necessarily a. Uh, the uncomfortable part is not a problem according to the Torah. The problem is because you're walking on your tiptoes, because you're walking on high heels, your body moves a certain way which is attracting. This is not allowed. Last but not least, the skirt or dress that you wear must cover two-thirds of your leg. Two-thirds of your leg means six inches from the bottom of your knee. So let's say, let's say if this is your knee, let's say this is your knee, so you calculate the bottom of the knee. Let's say this is the bottom of the knee. You know, you have the knee. And you have the bottom of the knee. This is obviously my elbow, but just, 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 you know, let's say this is the bottom of the knee, then six more inches. That's where the minimum requirement is. Not ideal, minimum requirement. Minimum requirement is for the dress to reach this after you sit down. Why? Because naturally when a woman sits down, the dress, whatever dress she wears, goes up a little bit. So, which means that if she's going to have a minimum requirement modest dress, 
when she's sitting down, the dress reaches the six inches beyond the bottom of the knee. When she stands, it's even longer. Why? Because it's, it, goes, it went down, back down. Now, ideal, ideal is for the dress to reach your, your, your feet. That's ideal. You can show your feet. There's no problem showing your shoes or your feet, whatever it is. Feet are not considered erva, but the, uh, which means nakedness. But you have to cover as much as possible if you want to go to ideal. Ideal is to cover your legs all the way to uh, completely. But minimum requirement is two-thirds of a leg, which I just described. Now, as far as wearing a, uh, um, a skirts, dresses, they have to be loose-fitting. Loose fitting means that the every time you walk, it should not uh, be like a uh, wave that the entire town notices. And women understand what I mean. It should not be such a defining move that everybody sees every little inch of your body and how it curves and so on. This is also, again, attractive but not attracting. Uh, as far as uh, feet, if you're going to uh, we be like mo- most women, you wear you know clothes... Uh, 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 shoes, no problem. If you're going to have open shoes, it could be a problem because it becomes attracting. So if you're going to be home, then no problem if you do the pedicures and all that stuff. If you're going to, you know, go outside with this, it becomes a problem. So it's better wear, it's better to wear the uh, uh, the clothes uh, uh, clothes shoes, not open shoes. Why? Because you don't want the uh, to be attracting with your uh, even with your. Uh, uh, pink little toenail okay so it's uh, it's not a uh, ideal situation as far as modesty is concerned um, as far as stockings stockings are only necessary if you don't cover a hundred percent of your leg meaning if you wear the ideal dress or skirt that reaches your feet then you don't need to wear stockings if you wear a skirt or a dress that covers two-thirds of your leg meaning that a part of your leg is showing, a part of your uh, actual leg is shown, then that has to be covered by a stocking or a sock. And that stocking or sock should be darker. The darker, the better. It should not be skin color where you cannot tell the difference between your skin and your, uh, and your leg. It needs to be noticeable that it's not your leg, that it is a stocking. That's in essence the point of it, is to lower the attractingness. The attractiveness has to be lowered. That's, in essence, the, uh, the basic minimums of, uh, of women modesty in Judaism. Uh, also, lastly, is uh, if you're married, then you have to cover your hair with a mitpachat, uh, a kerchief, or a hat. It uh, has to be covered if you're married. If you're not married, then it's highly recommended for you to cover your hair when you're praying. Uh, praying or doing blessings, you should cover your hair. 